I'm making my spin on a Chinese takeout favorite, my sesame cauliflower. So do you guys ever order sesame chicken? Yeah, yeah, so this side dish, well, it's side dish, or you could have it as a main if you wanted to steam up some veggies to go with it and some rice. It checks all the boxes. It's so easy to make and you get a serving of veggies. So what's not to love about that, right Bring guys? It Bring it on. All right, super simple. I've got my cauliflower here cut into florets. I like to keep them kind of small so that they have a chance to cook and get crispy without overcooking a big chunk. So I'm gonna use rice flour to make this. Rice right. flour gets nice and crunchy, and also it checks off the box for gluten-free. You can also use all-purpose flour, totally fine. I'm gonna season it up with some onion powder and some garlic powder and a little salt and pepper right in there and just give it a whisk. And you know, I'm actually using ingredients that you probably already have in your pantry. This sounds like something a little different, but it's really easy. And then I'm gonna add to it some milk, you know, and a little bit of water goes in as well and just get all those lumps out, and then the cauliflower goes right in. I've had uh, General So's cauliflower. Yeah, this yeah. is yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then I've had cauliflower refried rice. So and then it's right. like, yeah, so then it's like, now I, I made can that. have, yeah, exactly. Kitchen, yeah. You can have a whole meal of Chinese cauliflower. I love cauliflower. Jeff, if you'll get in the oven, I've got a preheated sheet pan in there. I like to heat up the sheet pan, a trick I learned from GZ, so that when you put the vegetables on it, they start cooking. You ready for it? It's hot. I'm ready for <clears throat> it. Then they start cooking right away and you get more crispiness. I'm just gonna hit this with a little bit of nonstick. Oh yeah, those and are coated then, all right. Yeah, they're all coated. They're gonna go right on to our baking dish. One of my favorite vegetables, cauliflower. Cauliflower. Yeah, growing up, my mom would put a whole head in a pot with some cream. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, make like a cauliflower type That sounds thing. good. Mm. So good. Well, you know, we also talk a lot about eating colorful vegetables for being healthy. The white and the cauliflower is actually considered a color. Mm -hmm. This goes in at 425 for about 25 minutes till it starts to get crispy. And then I'm gonna toss it in a sauce. So let me show you this sauce here. You could fry that if you wanted to. You, you know, know what I was <laughs> thinking, then. No, you I was thinking. I'll just, I'll just yeah. you know. Or if you have an air fryer, it'd be great in an air yeah. fryer as oh, well. Oh, people are crazy All right, with that so air fryer. So soy sauce, very simple sauce here. Water. And of course, you could also do this with chicken. Rice vinegar. I've got a little toasted sesame oil. Mm. Some honey, because you got to have the sweetness. The toasted sesame is the better one. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Regular toasted sesame, sesame, sesame like oil. Yeah. I keep it in the refrigerator, yeah. too, because it goes bad oh, quickly. A little garlic, some ginger, some sesame seeds. And some sriracha. Well, this Give it is a, a pantry clear out. bit of heat. Yeah, this is nothing like everything. Exactly. Going in. Not in her pantry. Now it's I'm gonna whisk it, there. and as I'm whisking, I'm gonna add in some cornstarch, and this is gonna thicken it up, and just bring it to a low simmer until it gets nice and thick, like this. Okay. Oh. So after 25 minutes of that cauliflower cooking, I take it, I toss it in this, I put it back in the oven oh. until it gets nice and crispy. I've got some that's already done here. Jeff, I think that you and I having kids are like, anything Asian is pretty much, yeah, if you works. could shove a vegetable yeah, in. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. They, yeah. You know, if, and when, here when it I is. Think, you know, avocado rolls, anything like that, like this is perfect for kids. All right, so I've got, I've got my little fancy takeout box. So you just toss that with sauce? Tossed in sauce, and then it goes back in the oven until it gets nice and crispy. And with that sauce, the, the honey in the sauce helps it get nice and crisp. Oh, how fun. Yep, and then I'm gonna just drizzle a little extra sauce. Okay. Yep, and then a little sesame seeds. Mm. And some scallions on top. I mean, I could eat this whole thing right here. Heard. Yeah. Let's see. 